Reeve, you should flush those personal problems in the morning. The mayor's against this anyway. Mayor? He just sits in this building all day feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Hmm. So, yeah, the corporation pretty much runs the city. Uh, yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. Ha 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 ha. Strut, Heidegger, strut. You know, I would expect that Shinra had nobody with compassion, but Reeve seems to really be on the ball and really have his head in the right place. You're tired. Why don't you take a couple of days off and go somewhere? And President Shinra seems rather decent to be like that. Serious face, Reeve. We'll destroy Sector 7 and report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll send in the rescue operation, Care of Shinra Incorporated. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay, forget about that semi-decentness. Whoa! Okay. We are very good at recovering from falls. Alright, Cloud. Just heal up. You're looking bad there. You alright? Yeah. Tifar, you hold on a second while I grab this potion. Thank you very much. Alright. Tifa, you alright? Man, this is terrible. Well, the worst is over. Oh, you jinxy jinx dick jinxerton. Maybe not. It's game time! Bring it on, you what is that? Apps. Who uses sewer tsunami? Woo, that's a big wave. Which did more damage to you than it did to all of us. Okay. Alright, pound it to submission. Pound apps into submission. Ouchie. Alright now. Here is a trick with Tifa's slots in our limit break. By, by, by holding the square button, you can stop the slots, and it will actually freeze the slots so you can manipulate whether you, wh what, what outcome you get. And I absolutely failed at getting the yeah. But later on, the slots introduce a miss option, which makes you completely skip over that step. So yeah, beat rush. Not bad. It's more than a regular attack. Healing Wind. And this is why Eris is so very useful in the beginning of the game. Ouch! And as you saw, when Apps licked Eris, her limit bar turned purple there. And, th what, and that is a sign of sadness. So, use a potion on yourself because you're not going to get healing wind anytime soon. Sadness makes you gain limit slower, and fury makes you gain it faster, so both have their proper applications. Ouch! And as you can see, Apps is taking advantage of the sadness to do a lot of damage to Eris without having her gain a limit break. He is a... Very smart. I don't know what he is. And he has really taken a kind liking to Eris. Bam! Uh oh. Come on, leave the ladies alone! Pop. Hmm. Maybe he's Don Corneo's pet. I mean, it would make sense with the way he dumped us into that sewer and then follows up by having Apps kill us. So yeah, just like the Don himself, Apps has a fascination with ladies. Yep, time to get braver and use potions on ourselves. Well, yes. And what's this? Uh oh, that's a different dance. Oh no, it's coming from our side! Oof! And you finished yourself off. Okay. Kamikaze apps. 
Level up, level up. Yes! We are in good shape. He gives the phoenix down. It's too late. Marlene, Barrett, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy a pillar, right? Yeah, you're right. We still have time. Yes, we do still have time. So, let's heal up and move out. And Hyper heals Sadness. Excellent, right? Now, Eris gains her limit break back normally, because we need her to do her damage, because her attacking power is very valuable. And what do we have here? Whoops. Okay, what sort of enemies we encounter in the sewers? Sewer-dwelling bipedal turtles. I got nothing on it. Yeah! Now, here's what happens when you actually hit a yeah. Critical hit! Worth 111 damage. Nice job, Tifa. And these enemies are called Sahagins. Sahagins. But apparently they are Squirtles, because they use Water Gun. Mind you, this, I believe, oh, I believe this was before Pokemon came out. So they use Water Gun Attack. Interesting, huh? And Eris has her Limit Break. Use Healing Wind. Oh. We'll use it in the next fight. Nice job, everybody. Alright, and what have we got here? Steel Materia. And look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. It's yellow. And it equips the Steel Command. Command Materia. Ladies and gentlemen, the Command Materia Challenge starts now. Ha ha ha. The Steel Command. Now we can do more than just u attack and use items. Come, let us get into another fight with those Sahagins. Come on, Sahagins, you crazy mutant ninja turtles. First off, heal up with Healing Wind. Oh look, there's another new enemy. They're called Caesars. At two Brutus. Ah, that is some good healing. Ouch! Now then, when you want to steal a particular item, it's always a good idea to thin out the enemy ranks. So, Tifa, steal from the Sahagin. Time to get braver. Take him down! Bam! Nice job, Cloud. Alright. Couldn't steal anything. Now you see, if an enemy doesn't have anything to steal, then the status will read, nothing to steal. But since it said couldn't steal anything, that means there is something to steal. And this is taking quite a while to steal. Yes, stealing can take a long time. And if you don't have access to cure spells, then the effect of having enemies beat on you while you're trying to steal something can, wear, can wear you down very fast. So, steal responsibly. Ugh, Tifa. Couldn't steal anything. This is getting to be bothersome. The Sahagin is just pounding on us. I might have to end this battle early without stealing anything. Unless Eris gets a limit break. Then I can keep going. Nope. Come on! Steal from it! This is driving me nuts. Yes! Oh, no! Of all the times to miss! Ouch. Use the... Ugh. This is ridiculous. As you can see, stealing is a very 
mind-numbing endeavor. And look at that. Both of the people who I don't want to have limit break, have limit break. Use it! Ugh. You know, when I finally steal something from you, I'm just gonna beat you so hard with my limit breaks. Just utterly beat you down with limit breaks. Okay. Yes! Stole a hyper. Get braver. See? We got a hyper. We used that one hyper on uh, Eris when she had sadness. And we just got it back. So, what do the Caesars have? And since we've got rid of the Sahagin, this is going to be much easier with less damage taken. And it seems the Caesar doesn't have nearly as much... Uh-oh. <laughs> so we have monsters that use Water Gun and Bubble. Isn't that, isn't that just absolutely crazy? And if you're in a future episodes, I'm going to cut out all this stealing failure stuff. And yes, the Caesar has a tranquilizer, the opposite of hypers. Beat rush! Bam! Take out your aggression, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. He stole a hyper and a tranquilizer. Cross slash gained. What is cross slash? Cross slash is a limit break. See? Yeah, so so now in battle we can choose between braver and cross slash. And the next time and when I am able to show you cross slash, it will make quite an impact. Let us escape the sewers and go into up. As I was saying, let us escape the sewers into whatever awaits us above. And we are in a, the ghost train yard. Eris, I got you mixed up in all of this. Don't tell me to go home. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to tell her to go home. I don't even know where home is. Let's see, if we can just get past the trains that are lit up, we should be able to get out of here. Okay, it has been a very long and eventful episode 4 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII The Command Materia Challenge. We have rescued Tifa from Don Corneo, battled a giant monster that likes to lick people, not to mention visited a brothel and dressed up as a lady, not necessarily in that order. When we return to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII The Command Materia Challenge, we will explore the Ghost Train Yard, the Train Graveyard, pardon me, and see how we can get our way back to Sector 7, save Barrett and the people of the slums. Until then, see you later.